Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new logo design tutorial and this one is a 2022 logo 2022 actually so i made this one for you guys this one is a creative signature type photography logo or whatever you can use this one in a creative way or creative type of works this one i made with the brush that is the illustrator brush and i'll show you how to use the brush and how to prepare the brush and how to make this one or how could deal with this type of logo so let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so going to the file and taking new options i'm using the 2000 pixel 2000 pixel and r logo so i'm showing you the r logo you can make your own name logo now that means the initiative or your name like a or b or c whatever it is but i'll show you the way how to make this one so at first going to this one that is the ellipse tool and just making these ellipse like that without pressing any kind of shift or other things so now just turning off the stroke giving the like a fill color black uh, that's why you can see how the brush will work so before starting the main tutorial i'll show you workplace i'm using the essential classic over here if you don't use this one just press over there or tick mark over there you are using the essential classic but you are not uh, looking the same like me here is a reset button which is the reset essential classic you will get the same things like that and here that is the thing which is the brushes this one is important so if you don't get over there going to here the window and brushes over there if you don't tick mark this one just tick it mark or uh, otherwise here it will appear okay so after that this one just select this one and just drag and drop over there when you're getting the green plus sign just leave it and small window will appear select the art brush and hit okay no wacom needed in this or graphics tab needed i will make this one in a mouse or with the help of the mouse you can just sketch for the fit stroke length this one is the uh, good choice and here you can here i'm just giving a none all the things and hit okay so now we are getting the brush now deleting this no need to use that going to the brush option don't click anything just follow my instruction and just you are getting the brush like that so you can make any kind of letter like r so this type of r or you have to practice actually uh, so this one it could be or you can try two or three times it will happen suppose my name is arif so it could be like this or it could be like that and you can draw something over here okay this thing like that or okay here you can try several times it will help you out to make the perfect one so this is done for me going to the object and expand the appearances that's good and now just making into the middle of the artboard that's fine going to the rectangle tool press the shift and hold it making square like that and sending this one into the back layer and here press ctrl or command y you will get the shape which you draw with the brush tool making this one white so now press ctrl or command y this one is now in a normal mode select this one going to the gradient over there and select the gradient like this so how or why this one i'm making this one just because of uh when you uh, draw something the stroke would will be you know, like more uh like a deem to prominent and deem to prominent which is really like a stroke feelings uh, you can uh, put over there that's why i'm making this one so already we got in this right side we want to make this one into left side as well so slide this bar and select here when you are getting the plus sign and double click over there making it black now g from the keyboard that is the gradient tool and gradient adjustment actually so just make the gradient like this i think that is nice yeah now 
write down something over there like go to the text tool write down the photography over here making this one bigger and make the font color into white take uh, bold or uh, variety of the things like uh, exo font you can take here and make the font size smaller suppose i think this is good and like write down here photography and going to the character options here the distance between two letter you can make this one customized by uh, writing over here 300 that's good more smaller and i'll make this one only semi bold and another copy by pressing alter option button and now i'll make the font size smaller by like a golden ratio maintaining divided by 1.6 yeah that's fine actually make the alignment into the middle and photography or and the downside this one make this one into the light font and make this one into all caps and make them alignment properly that is makes sense so it's totally up to you how you want to deal with that okay that's fine making it a little bit smaller you can place it upside or downside i should just it should be the downside is good now okay making it group and making into middle so i'll make this one this type of gray color it will help the things more like artistic so easily you can make or draw your unique signature tile logo which is really creative and this one is unique just because of you know uh, all the signatures are unique in the world so your signature is unique uh, my signature is unique so you can make your own signature as a photography or artistic type logo so this one is the way how i just made this one so hope that you learn a lot from this video if it did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and have fun be healthy stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers Bye bye